Hey, what's up, Liron here. Today we'll be talking about the thing you've been searching for all along in your art. Um, so if I'm looking at the vast majority of the questions I get asked, and that could be over the past five years even, uh, they a lot of them pertain to uh, painting and creating freely. A lot of the questions are phrased in a multitude of ways. Uh, people discuss being too obsessed with details or being um, overly worried about the result. And all of that falls into one single category, which is how do I paint with freedom? How do I paint in a way that uh, is completely free? It's just an expression of myself. And I want to dive a little deeper into that and hopefully by the end of this video, you will have at least a better understanding of where freedom comes from in art. Now, everything I'm gonna say here, you may relate to, you may not relate to, it may sound like complete BS, something that is way out there, and that is totally fine. So no worries there. Uh, whatever you feel about this is what you feel. Um, so I almost never had a problem with letting go in my art for the longest, the longest time, at least as long as I can remember from starting with watercolor. I've always had this sense of freedom whenever I would um, pick a brush or a pencil, pick them up and start just creating. Uh, in fact, the more direct it was, the more it was about just picking up a pen and, and sketching with it. Immediate freedom, immediate just in the zone, just staring at what I'm doing and no problems at all. And when I saw that many others were struggling with it, it, it honestly surprised me. Um, so here's my take from someone who almost never had this problem and who thinks they understand where this problem comes from. Here's the first thing to unpack. Letting go isn't a skill. Painting freely is not a skill. It's not something that you learn to do. It's not something you improve at. Uh, and even if you focus on techniques and learning different actual watercolor or painting skills or sketching skills or anatomy knowledge, it will not improve your freedom, okay? Now, I wanna give you a bit of an analogy here. Uh, maybe at some point in your life it happened that you touched a hot pot on the stove, right? And you grab it, maybe you didn't realize it was still hot, maybe you were a kid, and you immediately let go. In that letting go, did you have to think about letting go? Did you have to plan how you would let go? Did you need to want to let go? Were you looking for freedom when you let go of that hot pot? Was there any intermediary between the feeling and the action? Probably not. It was direct, right? You just let go. In that same sense, letting go in art is really a non-action. It is not something you do. It's not something you learn. It's not something you practice at. If you plan to let go, if you try to let go, it just will not happen. Letting go, that sense of freedom, that ability to just create is more of a byproduct. Now, what is it a byproduct of? And remember, whatever I say, don't believe it. If you don't relate, that's perfectly fine. Look at your own experience and figure out if it's for you. But from what I'm seeing and what I've been experiencing, it's more of a byproduct of understanding. Um, now, understanding what? That the art doesn't actually come from you, but it flows through you. Now, don't try to intellectually understand this because intellectualizing it will do nothing. It's like trying to describe the taste of chocolate using words or the color of the sky using words. It just won't work. Instead, again, listen to the gist of the words, the flavor and the feel. If they find a home, great. If they don't, also great. So instead of intellectualizing or thinking about the source of art, try to remember the last time you felt completely free a complete freedom in art. Was there a time where you just painted, you just sketched, you sculpted, even wrote, and you felt that complete freedom? Did that ever happen to you? And I would take it a step further and say, even outside of art, 
When was the last time you felt an overwhelming sense of peace and freedom? Maybe it was during a car ride, sunny day, nice wind blowing through your hair um, with an open road, you know, all of that. Maybe it was while, while listening to uh, some of your favorite music and some people get these uh, tingle, tingly feelings in their head. There's actually a name for that phenomenon, right? Now, at that time, when you felt that sense of freedom, whether it was during art or just day-to-day life, um, a moment where you just... There was nothing there. It was just a sense of peace. Did you try being free? Did you attempt to get free? Did you do anything in order to get that sense of freedom? Uh, Did you try thinking about it? Did you intellectualize the idea of freedom? Or were you simply free? I believe that's what everyone's looking for in their art. That kind of a freedom in one way or another. So where does this, this freedom come from? The source of freedom in art is in letting the art flow through you. It's almost like you're merely the brush. You're you're moved by something that isn't your thoughts or plans or even intellect. Um, I would say that it's precisely this lack of thought or plans that is the source of freedom. It is a lack of interference that enables the art to come through. Now, there's nothing wrong with thinking, with planning, contemplating. In fact, I do find that it helps me to mentally prepare for a painting. If I think about it, if I examine it, if I look at it. But during the painting process, that's the distinction I'll make, I find these kinds of thoughts to be more of a hindrance. Because I personally prefer freedom in my creation process. And even if the painting is a success, but I almost suffered and struggled through it mentally, I don't like it as much. And if the painting was a failure, but I painted it with complete freedom, it's not a failure to me, if that makes sense. And usually I'll find a section of it that is just fantastic, that I'm perfectly happy with. That's usually what happens when it was painted with freedom. Now, freedom isn't good. It isn't correct. It isn't the right way to paint. It isn't, there's no right or wrong here. I personally prioritize freedom and the result of thought and thinking and planning in the moment, the result of that is lack of freedom. To me, someone who prioritizes freedom, it is not useful. Someone else who may prioritize thought, technique, plan, you know, even result, you think about it. This may be irrelevant. But for those who feel something isn't right, something is missing, something isn't working, this may be the thing you're after. The source of freedom in art is in understanding that you're merely channeling the art. The art does not come through you. No one is amazing enough to step by step and with thought and with deliberance paint each and every brush mark. No one is as brilliant as that. The person who's truly brilliant is the one who is able to understand, not do, not try to let go, not do anything. Any form of doing will not find that freedom, but rather understanding that when they're most free is when they have complete freedom from thought. And that lack of interference is what allows the art to come through. Any attempt to take what I'm saying here and turn it into an action will not work. It is merely the understanding. You let it, you let the words be heard. Whatever happens, happens. You don't need to do anything. If you try to do something, it will not work. By understanding the source of true freedom, you have a chance to perhaps accidentally back into it and find it. We'll wish you good luck with that. Let me know in a comment down below your thoughts. And if you have any follow-up questions, thank you so much for your support. And I will see you in the next video.